And today marks two years since the Dobbs decision overturning Roe v. Wade. Over the weekend, President Trump touting that ruling during a speech. Democrats are pouncing on the opportunity to bring the fight over reproductive rights back into the spotlight as we look to the November election. In an interview out this morning, Vice President Harris saying everything is at stake. That's a quote from her as the Biden campaign tries to turn the ab abortion debate into a critical wedge issue. News Nation's Alina Shirazi is on Capitol Hill this morning. Good morning. So what do the polls say about this issue? Where do Americans stand on abortion two years later from the decision? Hannah, good morning to you. Well, the polls reveal that a lot of Americans want abortion to be safe and effective in the United States, an overwhelming majority of them. And we know that the White House hopes that this will be a sticking point with voters as we get closer and closer to the election. But a little bit from that recent poll from the Pew Research Center from May, again, 63 percent of voters, a majority of Americans believe abortion should be legal in a majority of cases. And not only that, but according to a June survey by Gallup, 85% of Americans say abortion should be legal in at least some circumstances, with 35% of them saying it should be legal under any circumstances. 12% there think abortion should be outlawed entirely, but as most things related related to the campaign, we know, Hannah, this is all going to come down to those swing states. So according to a May poll from the New York Times and Siena College, protecting abortion rights is a top issue for voters in Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, and Nevada, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. 11% of the people polled in those states believe it is the most important issue. And to put that into perspective, that's about the same percentage of people who also see immigration as a top issue. So you can kind to see where the numbers there lie on what voters believe, Hannah. And Alina, that's a large number. How does that compare to what we're hearing from candidates who are on the campaign trail? Yeah, that's a great question, Hannah. We know that a lot of Republicans in the past few weeks, months, and even years have really tried to take a more moderate stance on abortion. We have seen that really coming up again in the past few months. A lot of them just trying to interviews to sort of um, just divert away from the topic and avoid it. But we heard President Trump, former President Trump over the weekend, uh, essentially saying that it's one of the key points of his administration and saying that abortion should be left up to the states entirely. So his, here's a little bit from his interview as well. And we did something that was amazing. The big problem was it was caught up in the federal government, but the people will decide, and that's the way it should be. The people are now deciding, and some states are a little bit more conservative, and some states are much more liberal. And President Trump, they're also referring to those three Supreme Court justices who he appointed to help overturn Roe versus Wade in that Dobbs decision. But across the aisle, we know Democrats are really hoping to capitalize on this issue as they kick off their own campaign this week with events in Wisconsin and Virginia. We know that President Biden, as well as Vice President Kamala Harris, will both be there as well. We know that the Biden-Harris campaign is also launching a blitz of advertisements focusing on these reproductive issues and like trying to draw those stark contrasts between Biden's administration as well as the former president's, as he has historically done. Hannah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.